Hello, uh, I am Dr. Mehul Shah. I am a consultant pediatric nephrologist in uh, Apollo Health City, Hyderabad. I have been working here for the past 22 years. So today I will be answering some questions on chronic kidney disease in children. What is chronic kidney disease in children? Chronic kidney diseases are conditions in which there is abnormality in the kidney structure or function as described by the biochemical tests persisting for more than 3 months and any child who has got persistent abnormality in the kidney structure or function beyond 3 months is labeled as chronic kidney disease. What are the signs and symptoms of chronic kidney disease in children? Often chronic kidney disease in children would be asymptomatic meaning there would not be any symptoms of chronic kidney disease in children. However, there are certain clues which can make a doctor suspect chronic kidney disease in children. That would include increased volume of urination, increased thirst more as compared to what the siblings are consuming, inadequate physical growth which is an important clue to presence of chronic kidney disease in children. A child having recurrent episodes of blood in the urine or repeated episodes of urinary tract infection should also be thought about having chronic kidney disease. What are the causes of CKD in children? We can divide the causes of CKD in children into two main categories. One, the first are the factors uh, which are there during the time of development and at birth which are called as congenital or inherited or genetic causes of chronic kidney disease and second group are conditions which the child develops during his growing years. The common causes of developmental factors contributing to chronic kidney disease include inadequate growth of the kidney during pregnancy. It could be because of uh, genetic factors which contribute to dysfunction of the kidneys or it could be acquired factors because of infections, because of dietary imbalances or because certain medications which can cause chronic kidney disease. Sometimes disturbance in the immune system can also cause chronic kidney disease. How is CKD diagnosed in children? CKD should be first suspected in a child which has who has got previous symptoms like failure to thrive or inadequate growth, increased urination or increased thirst as compared to his uh, siblings. Once a chronic kidney disease is suspected, we need to measure the blood pressure of the child, we need to plot the growth percentiles and request for some simple laboratory investigations including complete urine examination, blood urea, blood creatinine and one ultrasound of the abdomen defining the kidney structure. Based on this parameters, we can either confirm or exclude chronic kidney disease in a child. How is anemia managed in a child with chronic kidney disease? There are multiple factors which can contribute to anemia in a child. First, we need to ensure the child has got adequate dietary intake of iron and vitamins which are required for red blood cell production in the body. Once that is ensured, we need to control the inflammation or any infections which may be associated in a child with chronic kidney disease and finally take care of the elevated parathyroid hormone which contributes to anemia in chronic kidney disease. Once these factors are taken care of, we need to initiate erythropoietin therapy in a child with chronic kidney disease. Our kidneys make erythropoietin which becomes inadequate when the child has got chronic kidney disease and now we have got this hormone which can increase the red blood cell production in the body. So what are the options in the treatment of children who reach advanced kidney disease? There are five stages of chronic kidney disease in children, stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, 4 and 5. Stage 5 is called as advanced kidney disease or end stage renal disease in earlier days. When a child reaches advanced kidney disease, uh, there are two options. One, we can initiate dialysis therapy 
and second we can go for kidney transplantation if the child and the family is ready whereby we can skip dialysis and straight away go for kidney transplantation. In dialysis, again, there are two modalities. One, we can do stomach dialysis, which can be done by the family at home. And this is something which we would suggest for a child with chronic kidney disease in advanced stages. And second is blood dialysis, for which the child has to come to the hospital three to four times in a week. And both these modalities have been well established in the management of children with chronic kidney disease. Can kidney transplantation be performed in a child with advanced chronic kidney disease? Yes, uh, kidney transplantation is a well established modality of therapy in children with advanced chronic kidney disease. We have been performing kidney transplantations in children over the past 20 years in Apollo Hospitals Hyderabad and the results are on par with uh, data from western countries. In kidney transplantation, usually one of the parent or healthy grandparent under 65 years of age with same or O positive or O negative blood group can be the potential donors. Also now with increasing awareness of diseased kidney transplant, diseased donor kidney transplantation whereby a brain dead individuals family would opt for donation of the organs, children can receive organ from brain dead individuals as well. How can one prevent CKD in children? Knowing the uh, factors which can contribute to chronic kidney disease would help us identify them and institute measures to prevent either initiation or progression of chronic kidney disease. And different conditions contribute to chronic kidney disease. Children with structural kidney problems can be identified early, medical measures instituted timely and we can slow the progress of chronic kidney disease as well as enhance the growth. Certain medications can contribute to kidney injury in children, especially painkiller medications like ibuprofen, Ayurvedic and uh, indigenous medications can contribute to uh, kidney disease and this needs to be avoided. Ensuring a healthy lifestyle right from an early age, including limiting the intake of salt, high fat items, and minimizing or avoiding animal proteins can also go a long way in preventing high blood pressure, obesity and chronic kidney disease when the child grows up. In addition, periodic assessment of growth, blood pressure and a urine examination in children at high risk such as those who are born prematurely, those who are born with low birth weight those who have got a family history of chronic kidney disease or hypertension at a young age would be helpful in preventing chronic kidney disease in a child. We have uh, discussed briefly about uh, the causes of chronic kidney disease in children, the identifying symptoms, the tests which can be uh, performed to identify chronic kidney disease and the uh, therapy options in a child who has reached advanced chronic kidney disease. Uh, periodic Ultrasounds during pregnancy will help us identify structural problems in the developing fetus, regular assessment of physical growth, blood pressure and one urine examination at one year interval in high risk individuals would also help in identifying children who are at risk for progression of chronic kidney disease. Thank you.